class who sort of being a model, TV presenter, businesswoman, DJ, mum, and also That's a sometimes <laughs> gets herself involved in controversies, which is good because not enough people bite back, and Mylene does. And we're delighted to see you back here. Delighted to see you. <laughs> Been travelling recently, have, but yeah. more of that. Have a I think it's absolutely fine, um, as is Moisten. No, no Indeed. Con controversy there at all, it's absolutely fine. In. I got good. <laughs> <laughs> and Susie, and the um, There uh, were some eights there, um, pimentos, the red sweet peppers, um, nepotism and tokenism as well. Happy Brains, enough? Uh, yes, uh, absolutely fine. You talk about um, large-brained, half-brained, etc. Um, not sure, how are you spelling? Oh, okay, Kana is there, but without the eyes. So C A N E R. Somebody okay. uses a cane. Um, so bad luck. Brain. Brain that boy if he does that again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it? Um, you can change that around a bit and have bandia. Uh, and carbine. The rifle is also. My legs are definitely bandier than yours. <laughs> I've got bandy arms. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> My arms are definitely bandier than yours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Five mantles. Yes, very good. Yeah. I've, got, I've got emulates. That was our best. Petrol. Thank you. <laughs> Whiter and whiten. Yes. Perfect. Do you not need more? Um, another is there for seven as well. I think that's brilliant. Well, oh, please. I was saying to you earlier, I've just come back from Nepal. Uh, always wanted to go there. Um, but I think it's given me a different perspective on the place. So I went out there with Save the Children. And so it's usually a place that you go and, I think, go find yourself for the tranquility and the isolation. However, I mean, it w I was out there looking at how they look after childcare issues and, and also essentially how women can give birth. The idea of trying to get down the mountain, which can take them seven to eight hours or uh, to get to a hospital or a birthing post or all the way back up, which again can take between seven or eight hours to a whole day is just non impossible normally. But when you're in labor, I mean, can you imagine? So the way that they do it is they essentially put you in what is like akin to a, a laundry basket and the men carry the women as they're in labor down the mountain. So we were out there just trying to uh, find a better solution to, to stop that happening. So yeah. there's no... M or uh, even a Morris one, Minor. Oh, there's no bicycles. So we were in four by fours and then often we'd have to get out, the, all of us would have to get out and hike to whichever house we were trying to get to. Mm. And so it's, it's, it's extremely tragic because so many women do lose their babies, either giving birth in the baskets or on the side of the road, just not making it up or down the mountain. And often if they get to a hospital, there's something like uh, you know, one person looking after thousands. So it's nice to see that good work is being done out there. But there was one woman that just, oh, she'll live with me till the day I die. She She's delivered 1,600 babies, and um, I looked at the health post that she delivers them in, and I just said, what happens in the night time? There, there doesn't seem to be any electricity here. And she took out this torch, and then she just showed me that she just holds it in her mouth and catches. <laughs> <laughs> My word. And so I then said, well, what do you do if there's no batteries? Because, again, there's no shops, there's nothing around. She, she, they have little phones, mobile phones, and then they use the light of their mobile phone. So whenever I'm using my phone to like, look for my car keys or whatever else, and the light goes on, I just always think about her. It's extraordinary. Well, no batteries. I, I think include... the problem is the actual idea of having to hold it in your mouth when you're trying to deliver a baby. So, Got it. But yes, why not? And please, Rachel. Here you go. Not bad. Well spotted from that mm. one. You're very good. Susie? Uh, goiters, which is the inflammation of the thyroid mm. gland. Um, you had... I got vertigo, vertigo so... Vertigo as well. well. Done. Um, and egotist is another seven. And please. Lift. Very nice. I hadn't seen that one. Very good. Mm. God. Yeah. Susie, what did you get? It was really tough, this one. Oh, well, I got lots of fives and then one six, which was pot full. And sponge. Yes. Lynn and... Um, a tasty seven with lasagna. Very good. <laughs> Thank you for that. Susie? Um, and a beautiful word. I love this one. Spangle is there for seven. Uh, spangle being a small, thin piece of glittering material um, sewn on for decorative. Um, how are you spelling S? You are. Oh, OK. Um, no, I'm afraid. Sorry. But oh, God. So can I, can I have reusing? Reusing is brilliant. That's all there. Um, for As seven. One word. That's excellent. As one word. I've never forgiven you guys for not letting me have super mob. <laughs> Do you remember? Anything else, Susie? Um, I thought I had zonules, but there's no L. But there is zonules. S Z O N U R E S, and they. Uh, that's another. 
All right, Susie. Uh, incredibly straightforward was to tend uh, the fowls of chastity or any of the really bad omen. If a first. <laughs> Very much so. Thank you, Mom. Uh, great word, but you need to. Mm. That's bad luck. Eileen. Latrine. Uh, yes, latrine, reliant. Um, quite a few sevens couldn't get beyond. It's Rachel. Pretty good. Two excellent sevens. It's there. No improvement from me. <laughs> uh, no, they were the two sevens that we found as well. There was also ragu or garter for six. Eight. No. Oh, please. Oro, Susie, and two.